research room for Stump the Schwab. Stuart Scott getting set to kick off another melee of the minds between three contestants, school in the world of sports trivia, and the man at the head of the class, the Monsignor of the media guy, the Baron of the box score, the Schwab. Schwab, are we going to learn anything new about you tonight? Tell you what, Stu, I'm just a man of mystery. Wow, he's just complicated. He's, he's depth yet... Anyway, yes, yeah, Robbie. He's also focused at the task at hand, and that means taking down these three contestants tonight. Three guys hoping to take you to school later on in the show. First up, he is a high school math teacher who scheduled the birth of his kids around Super Bowls. They call him the foot Sean Boardman. He is the editor of the Dialysis Newsletter. I'm serious about that. His friends say he is the Schwab. Matt Paul. And a journalism student at Michigan State who thinks Joe Dumars is the man. They call him Sly, Joe Yashinsky. Sean, you scheduled the births of your children around the Super Bowls. How do you schedule the births of your children around a sporting event? Uh, separate bedrooms. <laughs> you mean like nine months before, like... April, May. April, you... May, just stayed away because I never wanted to have to choose between a child's birthday party and a Super Bowl party. So what's your wife think during those two months? Uh... Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Don't go there. Hey, should one of these three stump the Schwab, he's going to win 5000 and have a chance to make our championship show with twenty five grand on the line. Kicking it off, it's our first game that we call leading off. Here's how you play. I'm going to throw out a question that has multiple answers. One by one, our contestants and the Schwab will give an answer. Each correct response worth one point. If you are wrong, you are out, but only out for that one question. At the end of the first game, the contestant with the lowest score is just out. Period. Thanks for playing. Peace out. Wouldn't want to be you. All right, let's get this thing started with leading off. Joe, we're going to start with you. Since Fran Tarkenton did it in 1978, 16 quarterbacks have led the NFL in passing yards for a season. Name them. Dan Marino. Correct. Matt. Kurt Warner. Correct. Sean. Steve Young. Incorrect. You're out for this one topic. Schwab. Dan Fouts. Correct. Joe. Peyton Manning. Correct. Matt. Joe Montana. Incorrect. You're out for this topic. Schwab. Dante Culpepper. Correct. Joe. Warren Moon. Correct. Schwab. Brett Favre. Correct. Joe. John Elway. Correct. Schwab. Rich Gannon. Correct. Joe. Um, hey, Joe. Uh, I'll say uh, Troy Aikman. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. Just threw it out there. Yeah, it just darkened the yeah. lights and correct you. Good. <laughs> Swap. Drew Bledsoe did it. Yes, he did. Mark St Brunel, Mark I Brunel. think, did Steve it. Steve Berline did it. I'm not giving him extra points, just one extra point. That wouldn't be fair to you all. Let's take a look at the scores, though. Schwab has five. Joe has four. Matt has one. Sean, well, Sean's going to start playing this go-round. The next topic in leading off. And we're going to start with you, Matt. 24 players have made more than 5,000 free throws in their NBA career. Name them. Carl Malone. Correct. Sean. Michael Jordan. Correct. Schwab. Jerry West. Correct. Joe. Dominique Wilkins. Correct. Matt. Moses Malone. Correct. Sean. Elgin Baylor. Correct. Schwab. The Big O, Oscar Robertson. Correct. Joe. Alex English. Incorrect. You're out for this topic. Matt. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Correct. Sean. Wilt Chamberlain. Correct. Schwab. David Robinson. Correct. Matt. Reggie Miller. Correct. Sean. Julius Irving. Incorrect. You're out for this topic. Schwab. Rick Barry. Incorrect. Schwab is out for this topic. Matt. Jerry West. Said it right. Already said. Rats. You're out for this topic, too. The light only shines on me. 
Adrian Dantley, Patrick Ewing, Hondo, John Havlicek, Elvin Hayes, just some of the others. But I don't get any points. I'm just hosting. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Schwab has eight. Joe has five. Matt has five. Sean has three. This is the last leading off. Sean, we start with you. Since Dwight Gooden won the honor in 1984, 20 players have been voted the National League Rookie of the Year. Name them. Steve Sachs. Incorrect. You're out for this topic. Schwab. The most recent one, Jason Bay. Correct. Joe. D-Train, Dontrell Willis. Correct. Matt. Jerome Walton. Correct. Schwab. Benito Santiago. Correct. Joe. Eric Karos. Correct. Matt. Todd Hollinsworth. Correct. Schwab. That's who I was just about to say. Uh, Chris Sabo with the Reds. Correct. Joe. Mike Piazza. Correct. Matt. Hideo Nomo. Correct. Schwab. Albert Pujols. Correct. Joe. Scott Rowland. Correct. Matt. Uh... Don't know. Blanks. Blanks? See a player, Blanks? <laughs> Arthur, no. Out for this top. Jeff Schwab. Bagwell. Correct. Joe. David Justice. Correct. Schwab. Said Santiago Seven. We didn't say Kerry Wood yet, did we? We just did. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Joe. Raphael Fercal. Correct. Nice. What up? Joe's like, what? Schwab? What? <laughs> Schwab. <laughs> trying to think of Dodger. Sachs was late. You yeah. need an answer. I'm blanking out. Sorry, not for this topic. Joe. Uh, Scott anybody Will else? Scott Williamson for the Reds. Scott Williamson. You got any more? I mean, we ain't going to give you the points, J but... Jason Jennings for the Rockies. Whoa, yeah. bro! Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Take a look at the scoreboard. Schwab has 14. Joe has 12. Matt has 8. Sean has 3. Sean, we gotta let you go, man, but grab a Schwabby ice sculpture on the way out. Joe and Matt, down to you, but only one of you can advance to the Schwab Showdown. We're heading to Hollywood for our next game. Grab some popcorn, because Schwabby hits the big screen when we roll back in the hizzy. Present Stuart Scott here with Joe, Matt, and a man with a passion for facts, figures, and fajitas. The Schwab. <laughs> Joe, you, you, the night Barry Bonds hit his 73rd home run, you decided to memorize all the pictures he had hit home runs off of? When McGuire hit 70 and 98, I did it. Just, I got a book and memorized those pictures. So when Bonds broke it, I was disappointed because it meant, obviously, I had to new, new, learn a new you list. You had to go back but, to school. Uh, yeah. All right, tell I, me. I, that too, all that the too, but, Quickly, quickly, go. Uh, Starts Go. with uh, Woody Williams, Adam yep. Eaton, Jamie Wright, Jimmy Haynes, right, David Weathers. Stop, Weathers, stop. Okay. stop and get a life. Right. Excuse right. me, get a life. Right. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> There's only room for one Schwab, all right? <laughs> Matt, you want to be on Stump the Schwab because you know sports, you lost 50 pounds. Yeah. And so the 10 pounds a camera puts on you is not going to not gonna matter? That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> what kind of diet? Uh, I don't know. Can I say a, a nationally known product? Or oh, that's yeah. a man who understands that we may have other sponsors other than the diet. <laughs> Matt, you win. All right. We're going to clear the scoreboard as we head into our next game, and it's time for y'all to head down the Schwabby red carpet. Hey, Schwab, if they made a movie about you, who would play the lead character? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Antonio Banderas because of his good looks. <laughs> really? I don't know. The accent may be tough, but, you know, actually, reality, John Goodman. Yeah, okay. I <laughs> thought so. Guys, in case you haven't caught on yet, this next game is all about sports movies. We call it Lights, Camera, Schwab. And here's how you play. There are four categories on the board. Each category contains three questions. 
The first contestant to buzz in can answer, but if you answer incorrectly, your opponent gets a chance to steal. The credits are over, so let's play lights, camera, Schwab. The categories are Lords of the Ring, movies about boxing. True stories, which they are true stories. Shaquille a Mockingbird, it's all about basketball movies and fictional teams. Matt, you go first. Shaquille a Mockingbird. What is the name of the Indiana high school that Gene Hackman's coach Norman Dale leads to victory in the 1986 movie Hoosiers? Joe. Hickory High. Hickory High is correct for one point. Joe, you control the board anywhere you want to go. We'll stick with uh, Shaquille and Mockingbird. All right. In the documentary Hoop Dreams, what NBA star pays a visit to St. Joseph's High School and plays one-on-one -on -one against young Arthur Agee? Joe. Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. Ooh. Not good for Matt, because that is correct for you, Joe. Still your board, Joe, wherever you want to go. Stick with Shaquille Mockingbird. All right. What 1979 comedy stars Julius Irving as a member of an unsuccessful NBA team that turns to astrology for help? Joe. Fish that saved Pittsburgh. It is the fish that saved Pittsburgh. <laughs> Didn't Schwab already tell you to get a life? <laughs> uh, let's go fictional teams. All right, fictional teams. What is the name of the baseball team that the mysterious title character plays for in The Natural? Joe. The Knights. The New York Knights. Specific. New York Knights. New York Knights is correct. No fictional teams. Fictional teams. The comedy Slapshot follows the fortunes of what rowdy minor league hockey team? Joe. The Chiefs. More specific. Uh, Charleston. It's not right. Wait, you just guessing now? I mean, you know, it sounds like Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Am I? Uh, go fictional teams again. In the Oliver Stone film, Any Given Sunday, what is the name of the fictitious pro football team coached by Al Pacino? Joe. I'll say the Hawks. You're going to say incorrectly. Okay. Matt, buzz in if you know it. Uh, Titans. AG, you just wanted to buzz, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Matt's like, I just got to say something. I can't go on TV and not use my buzzer. Come on. <laughs> Schwab, help him out. It was the Miami Sharks, and you know what, Joe, there. I'm sorry, missed yeah. one. <laughs> I was going to say Shark, but I thought that was Lawrence Taylor's nickname in the movie, so uh, I didn't say it. No. Joe, you Excuse. still control the board. Where do you want to go? Uh, let's go with Lords of the Ring. Lords of the Ring. The 2001 biopic Ali earned an Oscar nomination for John Voight, who portrayed what legendary sportscaster? Matt. Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell. It is correct. Finally gets on the board, ladies and gentlemen. It is five to one, and Matt, you control the board. Let's uh, stick with Lords of the Rings, Stu. What middleweight boxer who spent 19 years in prison after being framed for murder was the basis for the 1999 movie The Hurricane? Matt. Uh, Reuben Hurricane Carter. Correct. <laughs> right now, Matt, it's your award. Where do you want to go, kid? Stick with what got me here, Lords of the Ring. The classic movie, The Great White Hope, is a thinly veiled account of the life of what heavyweight champ? Oh. Joe. Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson is correct. <laughs> Joe, you control the board. There's really no place to go. I guess true stories. How about we go with true stories? Yes, yeah, sounds good. The 2003 movie Seabiscuit features a famous match race at Pimlico. Name the Triple Crown winner that Seabiscuit upset. Matt. Man of War? That is not correct. Joe, buzz in if you know it. Joe. Uh, it's my dad's favorite movie, War Admiral. War Admiral is correct. <laughs> Joe, it's on you. Keep true, it going. True stories. The Dennis Quaid... I know that. That's the only oh, place we can I'm go. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a habit. The Dennis Quaid movie, The Rookie, is based on the true story of what pitcher's improbable rise to the majors. 
Joe. Jim Morris. Correct. <laughs> Last question in True Stories. Without Limits was one of two films released in the late 1990s about the short life and tragic death of what Oregon track star? Joe. Steve Prefontaine. Stephen Prefontaine is. Oh. That's the end of the game with the score nine to two. Joe, big ups. Matt, you won't make the final cut of this film. You might not even make the final cut of the show, man. You might just be like left off the editing room floor. Joe played the second round by himself. We're kidding. We got to say goodbye to you, Matt. We enjoyed having you, though. Joe, when we come back, you'll get a chance to put all that knowledge to the test. Your name and lights. All you got to do, though, is beat the brightest mind in sports trivia. It's the Schwab Showdown coming up, so stick and stay. Stump the Schwab, Stuart Scott sitting between tonight's survivor Joe and the Maharaja of Minutia, the tycoon of trivia, the Schwab. Joe, you say that you have so much sports knowledge, you just gotta let it out, right? You know, it needs to go somewhere. I'm you Oprah. <laughs> let it out, man. Just <laughs> exhale, all right? It's just, it just feels so good to all right. let it go all somewhere. Right, all, right. all right, can we Can we move on? Let's, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Joe, if you stump the Schwab tonight, you get $5,000 and clinch a spot in our semifinal round. That'll keep you in the running for the championship show with $25,000 at stake. It is time for the Schwab Showdown. Here's how you play. Four categories. Each category has three questions. Worth one, two, and three points. Every incorrect answer, you get a strike. Three strikes, you're out. You also have one pass. You can pass a question to your opponent and make him answer, but you only got one pass. Use it wisely. Tonight's categories are going back to back. These are questions about teams that won back to back Super Bowls. It's Pat, all about Pat Riley. Division II studs, questions about athletes that play Division II college sports. And tough, not guys, tough geese. These are questions about guys named Gee. Joe, guy, geez. <laughs> this is your chance to stump the Schwab because you're going to pick the question. Schwab has to answer. Schwab will pick questions. You have to answer. Joe? Let's do this. Pick your first category for the Schwab. Uh, let's go Division II studs. Division II studs for one point. Schwab. What member of the NFL's all-decade team for the 1990s gave up only one sack in two years while on the offensive line for Division II Sonoma State? That would be Dallas Cowboy Larry Allen. That would be one point for Schwab. <laughs> Schwab, pick a category for Joe. It's Pat for one. For one point, Joe. Pat Riley was a star basketball player at what university? Uh, university of Kentucky. That's right. <laughs> One point for Joe. Pick the category for Schwab. Um, let's go with Tough Geese. Tough Geese for one. Guy Carboneau has won three Stanley Cups with what two NHL teams? Le Habitant, the Montreal Canadiens. Correct. And the other one is the Dallas Stars. That is correct. Schwab leads you to one. Pick a category for Joe. Guess we're going back to back for one. For one point, Joe. What NFL team won back to back Super Bowls with two different head coaches and who were the coaches? Remember, you do have a pass. NFL team won back to back Super Bowls with two different head coaches and who were the head coaches? Raiders with uh, John Madden, and uh, I'm not right anyway, so... Yeah, no, know. not the Raiders. It's the San Francisco 49ers with George Seifert and Bill Walsh. Yeah, so we know that. That is one strike. Uh-oh. Pick a category for Schwab, Joe. Uh, let's go Division Two studs for Division two. two studs for two. Division Two for two. Name the two Virginia Union players who went on to lead the NBA in total rebounds for a season. Well, when you say Virginia Union, the first two names come up. Ben Wallace and Charles Oakley. That's it. Two points for Schwab. Pick a category for Joe. Let's go uh, going back to back for two. Two points. Joe. In the Patriots' back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins, two players caught a touchdown pass in both games. Name them. I think one was... Uh... Deion Branch. Incorrect. David Givens 
and the linebacker. Oh, wow. Brable. Mike Brable. Brable. That's wow. tough. That's all right. Caught a touchdown pass in their back-to-back Super Bowl wins. Two strikes. Pick a category for Schwab. Um, let's go with tough geese. Tough geese for two points. Schwab. Guy Hebert became the first ever player for what NHL team when he was its number one draft pick in the 1993 expansion draft? He was the goalie for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. He sure was. Two points for Schwab. Schwab leads six to one. Pick a category. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go uh, Division Two studs for three. Division Two studs for three points with a two pointer on the board. <laughs> Schwab opts for a three one. Joe, what current Major League first baseman was named Division II Player of the Year while playing for the University of Tampa? Mm -hmm. Remember, you do have a pass. Yeah, uh, I use the pass. He's probably going to. You're going to use the pass. Yep. All right. Schwab? Saw pass that. it right back. Saw that one coming. <laughs> What current Major League first baseman was named Division II Player of the Year while playing for the University of Tampa? Uh, say Sean Casey. Mm, not Sean Casey. That is your third strike. The correct answer is Tino Martinez. Right. Ooh, good one. Tino Martinez. You're young. You're a college student. That's right. When you sat down here for this Schwab showdown, what was going through your mind? Uh, I was excited to get here. I was looking to beat the other contestants, but uh, I thought I had a shot. Uh, the Detroit jersey, me, being, being from there, was good karma, but uh didn't happen. Categories, I mean, uh, it's all right. Did you skip a class to come here? Uh, just one. Just one? <laughs> just one. Like, one's okay. I learned, I learned more here than I would have there, so it's all right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Professors <laughs> like that line. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a sports history class, was it? No. Okay. So. Wasn't a division two. You know, I, I wish it was. I, would, I wouldn't have skipped if it were. But <laughs> yo, nice effort, man. Young blood. Hope that he will see you back. Another victory for the ruler of the research. The Suave strikes again. But yo, check us out next time when three new contestants roll up in this house to fight it out and try and go where few men and women and children have gone before. Just up the Suave. Till then, I'm Stuart Scott. Hugs and hand pounds, y'all.